Thanks for joining us, Dusty Sonnenberg with the Ohio Agnet. Here with your cab cam tonight, we are on the Henry Wood County line. We're gonna be planting some organic soybeans with Shane Meyer. We're gonna check out the technology on his planter, see if we can get some soybeans in the ground as the sun begins to set before the rain falls again. We wanna thank our friends at Precision Agri Services for bringing us this coverage. And we are riding with Shane Meyer. We're close to the Henry Wood County line. We are planting organic soybeans this evening. Shane, not only are we uh, planting beans, but you've got a lot of technology tied up in this planter. Now, tied up for multiple things, you like to do a lot of research with your crops. Right. And so uh, let's go through first off, I guess, and talk a little bit about the technology in the cab. So first off, I'll correct you. This field is not organic. Okay. So we're running starter fertilizer with this, with this field. Uh, the organic one we'll be doing next. Okay. But uh, with this planter, um, I'm actually doing soybeans. And uh, the last year I ran on strip till. And uh, I had a seven bushel bump when I was running 30 inch on strip till. So this year we're trying no till on 30 inch rows and uh, starter so that we don't, we can kind of eliminate that pass. We're hoping that it works. So we're gonna run about 10 acres on this field, running three gallons of a starter with the soybeans on 30 inch rows. And then uh, I'm gonna run another probably five acres without starter. And uh, and then we're gonna drill the rest of it. And we're gonna okay. see if there is a, a yield bump with that. But with this planter, um, we have hydraulic downforce, we have uh, electric meters, we have the precision ESET meters on it. Um, we're running Yield 360 bandits, uh, and we're running Yield 360 waves on it. And then we have hydraulic row cleaners that we can adjust on the fly. Right here is the row cleaner control. Um, I can go from zero PSI on my row cleaners and they're lifted to 3,000 plus uh, at the turn of a knob and it's almost instant. So this particular farm that we have has got a, about a 10 acre low sand hill on it and the rest of it's a heavy way to play. And then, uh, so we go, I can flip that switch on the fly so that I'm not digging a trench with the row cleaners when we hit the sand hill and then readjust it when we get down to the heavy play. Um, so currently we're running 140,000 seeds. So I can sit here and I've got it, the planter split into four rows a piece. So I can just push a button and swap it to 130 and I'll do that for all three rows. Or we just flip it back to 140,000. Then we're running 140,000 there. Um, so this runs the whole entire planter, it runs the auto steer also, which here in a second, I've already preloaded my lines in here and we're gonna hit a curve. Uh, so I'm gonna kick out my auto steer, switch my line and re-engage my auto steer on the fly um, to help us get around the curve um, and keep everything on a strip till line if they're running strip till. So kick that out. Re-engage the auto, switch the auto steer, re-engaged it, and we will let it do its thing as we turn right here. And then we'll go forward. So we've got a lot of tests going on with this with uh, the starter fertilizer, the pop-up, no pop-up drilled it versus 30 inch um, and the drill is on seven and a half and we'll run that at 180,000 uh, against this 140,000. See if we can save money and uh, on seed and boost yield. Makes a lot of sense. So. Now you're collecting a lot of data as you do this and analyzing it. Talk a little bit about that in the off season, the analyzing what program you use and sort of what you're looking for as you analyze that data. Yep, so uh, everything gets dumped into Ag Leader's SMS program. Um, it, it very easily transfers. Um, we'll pull maps, so we've got different uh, regions. So on this planter, um, when I'm planting corn, I'll run two different varieties all the time. Normally it's six and six, but mm -hmm. since I've been beta testing the wave, I was doing 
three of variety A, six of variety B, and then three of variety A with the wave. Well, this year I'm doing three of variety A without the wave, six of variety B with the wave, and then three of variety A with the wave with the way um, because the last two years I've seen a benefit from it I wanted one more year of testing that before I went the whole entire planner so sure. three years you're showing a benefit the, the planner gets it all the way across makes a lot of sense right. a lot of sense and a lot of good technology yep. a lot of things to learn from and a lot of variations you can yep. put together out in the field so the Ag Leader SMS you can uh, select certain passes and or certain rows and then down, uh, take that data, pin it, and then you can invert your selection, and then it'll give you that uh, data that was not selected prior will then be selected, so then it'll show you that selected data versus your average data. So then you look at all that data um, with trials and stuff, we can pull out I'll try and set regions if I'm changing populations. I'll change the region versus trying to select it, and then I can go region to region and look at that data as it's harvested. Um, and with the Egg Leader Insight, it'll automatically change the regions as you harvest when you go through that imaginary line. Right. So it makes data comparison very um, seamless. A lot of good technology going on here in Northwest Ohio again. This cap cam with Shane Meyer. We are planting soybeans, doing some trial plots, and later on he'll be planting the organic beans. Shane, thanks for your time. No problem. Thanks for coming. This spring's Cab Cam series is made possible by Precision Agri Services Inc. Since 1994, Precision Agri Services Inc. has provided the best agronomic, environmental, ag technology, planter services, and planter products to farmers and agribusinesses. For more info, visit precisionagriservices.com.